this bus and kind of arrived in this area where it was gated off. You can't really get in there unless you have clearance. And there's just basically scientists everywhere, buildings everywhere, people milling about, doing experiments. Kind of this atmosphere of collaborative thinking and research that that goes on. After we saw the molecular foundry, they took us to the advanced light source, which is a synchrotron. They speed electrons around um, and crash them together and then study the properties in various um, labs that they have around the synchrotron. And walking into the molecular foundry and advanced light source, seeing people doing their jobs with equipment and you know things that, as a layperson, I can't even begin to understand how they work. It, it really made me appreciate some of what the lab does on a daily basis. They receive millions of dollars in grants every year. Um, scientists from across the world come to the lab to do research on a number of things from energy efficiency to biofuels to DNA to any number of things and um, having that up in the hills like right near UC Berkeley is a huge source of innovation for both UC Berkeley faculty and um, experience, I would say, for them as well. When we do articles on the lab, it's easy to understand some things and it's not easy to understand other things because there's just so many different levels to each experiment that they do. What we put in writing is actually something, a great source of passion for these people and for what they do, um, which I don't think is something you can really understand unless you see it physically.